When telling my family and friends in the United States that I was going to go to Mexico, I got a lot of worried responses. They thought Mexico would be dangerous. And although this danger does exist to a certain degree, I did not once encounter fear of this danger. So, then what are people afraid of? As it is the end of October, preparations for Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, are in full swing. It seems as if, generally speaking, death is not seen as something negative, but rather something to be celebrated. It almost seems as if death has become part of the everyday. I showed a picture of me in my skull makeup to my grandmother, thinking it would be a fun thing to show her. She was honestly quite frightened and did not understand how a culture or a person could take death so lightly. How would you say that like the culture of death is portrayed? Um, I haven't really had people die on me yet, mm -hmm. so, I don't know, but what I have Thank noticed yeah. is, like, when people do die, they will carry their casket in the street, and, like, everyone will, like, start drinking, they'll drink for, like, ten days okay. straight. That's one way to deal so with it, like, grief. <laughs> yeah, it, like, kind of Crazy. looks like a party, but they're all crying and drinking. Dying, it wasn't something bad you didn't have like heaven or hell it was just going through a different plane going to a different state of, of being in this oh so dangerous Michoacan region there is this indigenous sport which originally sparked my interest of fear in Mexico why do people put themselves in unnecessary danger and where is the fear of danger Esta sensación de, de, del fuego, yo, yo lo menciono mucho 
A mí me gusta mucho cuando juego con la encendida porque escucho el rugir del fuego pasar. O sea, cuando la pelota pasa encendida, pasa cerca y lo escucha rugir, es una sensación muy, muy padre. It's not just like, uh, there's iron, that's it. Yeah, it, is, it is something that it, it has to be taken with respect. I noticed there's not really a, a much fear of fire. No. Not at all. No, we know it's dangerous, but it's not like um, you have to know how to play with it. nos acercamos al deporte por algún conocido o algún amigo no y bueno personalmente a mí me resultó interesante porque pues es algo que tiene que ver con nuestras raíces con nuestra cultura no que como lo menciona aquí el interesado pues de los purépechas yo, yo empecé a jugar el juego eh, igual lo vi en una exhibición me gustó yo era profesor de, de preparatoria entonces me acerqué y me lleva a el juego a la, a la escuela, ¿no? la preparatoria. Pues César es el de los pocos que quedan de, de hace 13 años. O sea, por ejemplo, él fue mi alumno y él trajo a, a sus sobrinas. Yo traigo a mi hijo. Entonces ya se vuelve a hacer una tradición. I'm sure the revival of tradition is an important reason why they play the game in a more dangerous manner than it needs to be. But could it be that danger also has a different meaning than the one I am familiar with? When it falls on fire, it might be even more scary, but it's a pretty heavy ball. And it hits people quite often. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt? Well, yes, of course it hurts, but life hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Fire is not something to be afraid of for the ones that play with it all the time. And perhaps the same can be said of death for the ones that encounter it on every corner. For why would there be a need of fear of something you see every day? <laughs>